Hi guys, today's video is going to be one of two very strange videos from me. Um, for some people anyway, not for everybody. And yeah, weirder than talking about feet like I did last Friday. No, today's video is going to be a planner supplies haul. Some people will be like, oh my god, I really enjoy those videos. Some people will have switched off immediately and some people will be intrigued and have no idea what I'm talking about. Basically, there is a whole community on YouTube. There's a community for everything on YouTube. Um, the good, the bad and the ugly. And planning is a huge, huge thing that I had no idea about until people told me via my um, planner review video. I reviewed a planner, that was all it was. I intended to use it as a date planner, kind of like I had used a planner at school. And I reviewed this thing and so many people told me about all these different places. Over the past year I've got more and more into it to the point of now, for 2016, I've decided that I'm into it to a, to a degree um, where I could actually start making videos about this and I'm interested enough to feel like other people might be interested. So, um, in this video I'm going to show you some bits and pieces that I bought. It's kind of just like stationery gone mad. So if you were interested into stationery, I've always had a bit of a thing for stationery. If you like paper chase and all those kind of things, um, people that kind of hang around near those areas of the store, uh, I think you would really enjoy the planning community. It just kind of is an excuse to play with stationery as an adult, I really feel. Um, I mean, it's one thing to have a planner and use it as a date planner and, you know, in the way that it was intended to be used, and it's another to kind of start decorating it. You know, there is a line and I'm somewhere in between functional planning and decorative planning at the moment, um, although I am really, really in love with something called a Polaroid Zip. Oh, why is it so bad? <laughs> interrupt this normal video, not really normal video but you know what I mean, this video for a little sponsored announcement from Mum's Eye View. I just made a video, where are you going? Just made a video with Milo uh, where he tried on a load of Star Wars gear and basically did his own little Star Wars haul. It was super cute. Please go and check it out and subscribe to that channel. I'll link everything below. Please um, check it out again. Please check it out again. And I will let you watch the remainder of the scheduled video now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the floor, <laughs> as they say, and show you in a little bit of a different format, because showing you and holding things up might not be that easy to see. So the first thing is this box. Um, everything's pretty much from the stationery section, and I have put in a little thing there to say, planner supplies, because I'm a total geek. Um, and when you open it up, you can see that I'm keeping everything in there. So this is going to be where I keep all of my stickers, all the bits and pieces that I want, um, to keep together for my planner. As well as this, I got this envelope, which I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't fit in the box. That was kind of a bond, but it's not the end of the world. I actually picked up the envelope, um, in theory, initially for stickers, but I feel like now I'm gonna just leave them all free in here. And now, I thought I might use these for receipts um, and things that I need to keep for kind of tax. Thought it would be really useful and a bit pretty and it goes with the colour scheme. So I thought I would show you that as well because that was from Asda 2. Um, and then I got a couple of kind of, not technical, but gadgety type things. This is something I've wanted since I started watching planning videos. It is a guillotine. I don't know what the, the name for it is now. Um, it's probably not gonna have anything on here, but this is what I know to be a guillotine. I'm sure there's another word for it. Um, but it basically cuts paper. It's quite flimsy, actually. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not flimsy, but it feels flimsy. Because um, the only one I've ever known has been like this really hardcore, kind of massive glass one, because my my grandma was like an ex-teacher, so she obviously had like a really serious one, but it does the job. Um, I've managed to um, cut kind of post-it notes, quite a chunk of post-it notes and stuff like that on here. So far, really useful. Also, if you get stickers from uh, Etsy, you can get printable stickers like this. Um, basically put in a sheet of sticker paper rather than regular paper into your printer, print them out and use something like this to cut them up. So it just makes things a little bit cheaper if you're into that kind of thing. So that's something to note. But I have that, and I also got, and I haven't used this yet, and I'm really excited about it, a laminator. And truth be told, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this laminator yet, but I knew that I wanted it as soon as I saw it. And it wasn't expensive, I think it was about £15. I also got some laminate pouchy type things. I thought anything that I get that I want to keep, whether it be photos, whether it be um, kind of a certificate, or something, if the kids have drawn me a picture or something, something I really want to keep, I'm going to laminate it, and I'm going to put it in my planner, because my planner is going to become a bit of a scrapbook. I used to be really into scrapbooking before YouTube um, and blogging, and that kind of took over all that. I used to be massive into scrapbooking. So part of this for me, um, apart from kind of the organisation part of um, planning. I'm going to be using it as a bit of a memory book and you'll see more of that as we go along next year and I show you what I intend to do with my planning. But that's partly 
reason why I got the, the, the laminator is because I thought that it would be good for kind of memories. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and get things out in some kind of order because this is just full of stuff. First of all, these pens I'm really enjoying using. I'm using them to colour code, so various different things, for example, um, blog posts are in one colour, videos for this channel and videos for my other channel are in different colours, and I really like the way these write. I don't know, is it Stadler? Is it Stadler? I've only ever known that brand to make rubbers at school, I don't know. Uh, but they're fine liners, so I really like those. Um, I'll go through that, that comes with something else. I've got tons of stickers that I'll show you. I think these were from Asda as well, just like funky looking post-its. Um, these paper clips, again from Asda, all within this same kind of range, this pink and aqua colour. Moving out all the Etsy stickers, I have um, these stickers were from Asda. I thought these were cute and I got them after buying these. These were quite expensive. Um, these were £3.95. Um, and I've actually bought planners for other people for Christmas this year because I've been so into it. Um, and I got the silver and the pink for myself and then I got a gold for my friend because the planner I got her was kind of Kate Spadey looking and it was cream and gold. And then I got um, red for my other friend who's got like a, a more bold coloured planner. But I thought these would be cute with the one that I have and the colour scheme that I'm going for. Um, and they were from Liberty but they're called Knot and Bow is the brand. Um, then I've got these ones like I say that I got from Asda because these will have been what 50p or something. Um, these are 300. The other one's only 36. 300 little stickers. But I thought because Ella's been kind of jonesing for my planner a little bit, that she might get one from Father Christmas, and these might be nice for her if she does. Um, these bulldog clips, again, that same kind of theme. I love this. Ella's had some stationery from Astra in the past with these kind of colour scheme, and I really like it. Um, this was actually a pen that I got from Plan With Jade as a bit of a freebie after buying... I'd rather not tell you how many money's worth of stickers from her. Went a bit crazy. Oh, this is the blue that goes with that pen set. Some um, highlighters. I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to write down each of my blog posts as I plan them in my diary, and then I'm going to highlight them once they're actually uploaded and done. And then this, I was really kind of hoping that this would fit into whatever planner that I bought because it is actually hole punched. How cool is that if you've got a proper ring binder that would be really useful. But these have been really good so far. I've been cutting these up um, and using them as kind of repositionable stickers because repositionable stickers are actually quite difficult to find um, in nice colours and stuff. So that again was from Asda. I forget the price but it would have been inexpensive probably a pound or so. These aren't really planner-ish but I have them in here because I thought they're really really nice when it comes to kind of stationery and scrapbooking and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably going to frame them and that is more what they are for. Uh, but I thought I would show you them, especially because it's going to be Christmas. I found these in TK Maxx and I think they were £3.99 for all of them. And they are quite sturdy, thick card. What's the brand? Graphique with a Q-U-E at the end. Um, and I thought they were all so cute. Moving on to Etsy. As you can see, I went absolutely mad. Um, I'm kind of thinking that what I purchased will probably do me for quite a while. Um, but I'll kind of, I'll take you through it all. Like I say, I had purchased some other stuff for other people as well. Um, some of that stuff I've already kind of filtered out. I had some custom labels made. Um, the majority of the stickers that you see in front of you are from Plan With Jade. Um, really, really great quality stickers. And I spoke to her, she made me some custom ones. She did different colours, she did different headers. Really, really great service. So I would highly recommend her and I'll link her below. Um, but then there are some others as we go. Stickle Co, I really liked. I used her stickers for quite a while. The only reason that I went away from Stickle Co was because of when it came to Christmas and I was looking for some kind of festive colours, she hadn't got them out yet, which is why I went looking elsewhere and found Plan With Jade. I also have something else in here from a brand, where is it, called Sticker Palooza. They're also really nice. There are tons and tons, but these are the three, I think the only three, um, although Sticker Palooza and Stickle Co, I've used tons of their stickers already, whereas the Plan With Jade ones are almost all pretty new and I've only just started using them. Um, so I would highly recommend these two as well, but the Plan With Jade ones I was, I was just, it's, it's not necessarily even the quality, it's just what she has available really appealed to me, which is why I ended up buying so many. Um, but there aren't that many places in the UK. So if you have your own favourites, please put that in the comments and share with everybody else. I'm going to zoom in because all of this stuff is kind of detailed. Um, so I'm going to show you the kind of cutesy ones, which let's say, for example, again, if Ella was to receive a planner for Christmas, it would be nice for her. Um, we've got these little ones that are princesses, some nightmare before Christmas. I think this was a little sampler, uh, some gingerbread men, these ones from Inside Out, which are super cute. Wait, get them in the shop, that would be better. 
Um, and I think they're all the ones that I got that are kind of characters and cartoony, apart from maybe that one, which is still useful if you were going to go to a show or if it was cinema times or whatever. I really like these. These are more of the decorative planning that I actually would use. Whereas this stuff, I think, um, maybe occasionally I might use something if it was particularly festive or for a season or a holiday, but I'm not going to be using them on a week-to-week -week basis. The decorative one I ordered for myself, which I've already kind of dipped into, um, because I mean I wanted to leave these two, I'm going to start planning with these later on today probably, I was desperate to put these ones in, but um, the decorative ones that I've actually stolen already I've used for my birthday next year, I've already started decorating that week of my planner because I'm super excited to be away on my birthday and for it to be my 30th birthday. I think I'm regressing, am I having some kind of midlife crisis buying stickers like this? just before I turn 30, maybe that's the situation. Uh, but I think this was really cute, one of the cutest, probably one of the things that led me to the plan with Jade um, shop on Etsy was this particular um, sampler. And I bought this for the people that I bought planners for as well because I thought it was super cute. The thing that she made me uh, that was custom were these, I believe. I think these were the ones that she already had, which were the mint glitter, is it Bokeh? But Boca, I don't know how you say that, but it's these kind of like blurred out lights um, and she has them in full boxes, she has them in little washi tape and all that and I wanted them in blush pink and I wanted them in like a lavendery purple colour and they're the ones that she did custom for me but hopefully they will be on the site soon and they're just a little bit of something, this is decorative but this is like as decorative as I like it to be, a little bit of something in a box somewhere in the planner which will make more sense when you see the planner. These little boxes go with that, they just kind of go with the theme and again are decorative labels to um, add things to your planner. Then I have this and I am certain somewhere I have um, the washi version which is like this where they're all little stickery small elements of that but I can't see it right now. Um, but this is all confetti. These are all samplers. Now these are actually themed to the Erin Condren live planner. There's a little clue for you as to what might be uh, my unboxing next week. Um, but these are all kind of themed to the different months that the Life Planner has kind of colour coded. So this one was the December, this was the November, December again. I got the December ones because I thought Ella would like these particular colours. And um, this is the London sampler, sorry, this is not a particular month. So I thought these were quite cute. These are things that you've got little samples of different boxes that you might use. You've got like a phone, uh, eating, a bin, a mailbox, or not a mailbox, um, like an email or an envelope. God, that's a serious generational thing, isn't it, that I called that an email. Um, a pill and a TV, so you could use those. I get the idea that you can kind of start using them, you, you think that you'd use them more. There's a computer and Instagram and a TV there. Two hydrate boxes where in theory you'll colour in how many drinks of water you have per day. Little dots and stuff like that, little bits of um, decorative bits and pieces. These are really good because these are actually checklists, so all of these, you put them down the side of your planner and the hearts would be um, where you would write what you were doing, kind of a to-do list, and you would check off the, the thing in the heart. Little weekend banner and these little flags I use quite a lot um, for kind of paydays and things like that. Uh, and again, something like I just showed you, these little boxes that are just a little decorative way of writing in just mundane information that you need to keep. Um, Back here, I think I did show you, but I'll show you properly the stuff that I got from Sticker Palooza. Again, these are just decorative boxes. I really like these ombre heart boxes. Again, it's just a checklist. Um, same sort of thing, but I've used a lot of these ones. These are the ones that I really liked from Stickle Co. But I had tons from Stickle Co. I'm sure I did a haul at some point, maybe in a vlog, where I showed you everything that I got from her. I had tons and tons of stuff. Um, and I still have some somewhere. I I just went and dug out some I knew I had. Donuts, the coffee cups I thought were really cute. I really like those. These ones are slightly more functional. So you've got blogging and YouTube icons, which obviously I had to have. Things like write this, take a photo of this, film this, blah, blah. Then you've got life icons, which again, you've got the envelope, TV, all the things that you just saw a second ago in the sampler. And then kind of uh, pound signs and shopping trolleys. Really useful kind of day to day or week to week planning. And then this one, again, might be suitable for a child who is at school who may or may not get a plan of Christmas. Um, just kind of school and study icons. And I think that leads us um, to the headers, which is the final thing. Um, and you can get headers in whatever colour that you want. These are kind of to go with 
these particular weekly samplers. This one goes with the New Year's one, so I thought that was quite cute. This will also go really nicely with the blush. Just, you know, bits and pieces here and there. I really like that they are a little bit decorative, but they are header labels, so it's kind of like to do, today, little things, to go, to clean, to buy, all that stuff. And then these are the ones that she made for me specially. I have um, a full few pages of blog, a full few pages of YouTube, and they're ways of kind of organising my planner and things um, without having to write in it all the time. I suppose it's not, it's not so that you don't write in it, it's just to make it a little bit prettier, a little bit neater. Um, and because I am kind of planning on using this as a bit of a, a memory book, when I look back at it, it's going to be pretty to look at, it's not going to be messy, and I want to plan um, in such a way that it is kind of semi-scrapbooking. So it's just fun, it just, it's something really, really boring and mundane to have to plan things and have to organise your life, and it's just a way of making it not so mundane and boring and a little bit more interesting. So that is it for this super long rambly video about stickers and planner supplies. I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if it is yours, please go over and subscribe to my second channel where there will be videos like this on the regular in the new year. But if you're not into it, don't worry, after next Friday's video, there won't be any more from me on this topic. Um, but I will cover that all in my kind of update and my resolutions post. Um, or video at the end of the year. So thanks for sticking with me if you have and I will see you guys in my next video on Monday. Bye! Hi guys, I did say I was not going to do a Christmas gift guide this year. So many people said um, they were looking forward to it and I kept having to respond and saying I wasn't going to do one. Um,